What's up everybody, welcome back to Bond's Box. We are unboxing a pretty small uh, package today. It is the Monster Hunter Rise with the pre-order bonus stuff. Um, there was a collector's edition for this game that came with like a, an Amiibo and some stickers and stuff. I didn't get that. Um, I just went for the basic uh, pre-order bonus with the Steelbook. Because I'm sure you know me by now, I love my Steelbook. So um, that was a no-brainer, I suppose. But we also got these two keychains with it. Which are a Palamute and a Palico. I think as their names. I don't know how to pronounce it, but a dog and a cat, effectively. Um, so yeah, we'll crack into these first. Uh, yeah, this is obviously on Nintendo Switch, and that's the only system it is available on. It might be available on PC. I'm not sure. There was another one that's supposed to come out. Can't remember which one was PC and not, but so. Oh. Pretty basic keychain, really. But, you know, for a free throw in, it's not too bad. Yeah, I, I never really played too much of the Monster Hunter series. World is the only one I played, and I got a little bit bored with it early on, but um, it would be interesting to give this one a go at some point. We'll crack open the basic game now. This is what you get if you were just to buy the standard edition of the game. Rise to the challenge. Got lost ecosystems, battle fierce and monsters, and craft powerful gear. Go solo or hunt with a team of up to four players, local and online. Various new features such as wire bug actions and the Palamute K9 companion. Is that, I guess that's how they're spelling K9 with a Y. Um, Play anywhere with Power Nintendo Switch. Inside we've got a code for bonus content. So we see under here. Retrieve a costume, layered armor. Forest cat costume, layered armor. Novice talisman. Oh, three things. And then it's written there in French, I guess. Um, so that should come with all uh, editions of the game. So if you're interested in the bonus content, you only need to pick up the standard edition of the game. We obviously have the very tiny switch cart with uh, the rating filling up like, I don't know, a lot of it. Not much room on there for any kind of art, so it's a bit a bit lame looking, but whatever. And the inside art is pretty damn cool. Yeah, let me take the paper out so we get less reflections. You've got what, three, no, uh, it's like two hunters and a dog. And a cat, or a palico, and a palamute fighting a probably an iconic monster that I don't know the name of. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we got that. Spot that back in where it belongs. Come on. That just leaves us with the steelbook, which is the thing obviously I was most excited about, and half the reason I pre ordered it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I figure out how to get into this without scratching it. Because it's pretty well, like, melted. Well, not melted, but however they do it, where they, like, seal it where it shrinks the uh, packaging. I guess that's why they call it shrink wrap in, in America. I think we call it... I don't know what we call it. I'm polystyrene. It's... I can't get into it. Good old mouth. Heath gets into everything. Sort of. So, uh, the first thing I want to talk about is the fact that the title is on the spine, which is extremely rare for a Switch game. Um, and a lot of games in general these days are skipping out on it, which is so frustrating if you want to put it on your shelf. Um, but this has it, and it is the correct way up. Sometimes they're upside down, but this is 100% the correct way up. On the front, we've got the same cover as the... Uh, the normal case but obviously without all the uh, branding and stuff all over it and then on the back is an extension which actually is that the same scene that's in here but it i think it is it's the same scene that's inside the case but at daytime and a little bit more zoomed in but, i mean that looks really cool now on the inside oh well, that's disappointing. Um, yeah. 
I'm not sure what that logo is. I'm sure it's something to do with the game or the series. But this would have been like an amazing steelbook if they'd have put that interior inside here. Even though it is just basically the same scene, but at nighttime. But it would have been so much nicer than this bland, like, whatever inside here. But, I mean, there you go. You win some, you lose some. The outside is very nice. The inside, not so much. So, yeah, that, that's everything. Um, very quick unboxing because not much to it but i wanted to show, okay, show off the steelbook mainly i think it is very pretty from the outside it's just a shame about the inside and extra points for the title being on the spine capcom good job uh, so yeah you got the steelbook you got that bonus content i mentioned what do we get uh like a forest cat and a retriever costume for the respective uh companions a novice talisman is that what that is maybe is that a talisman i don't know and then we got the plastic case with the pretty inside, steelbook with the not so pretty inside, and then these two keychains of the companions. So yeah, let me know if you guys picked up this game. Uh, it's been getting some really good reviews, so hopefully anybody's picked it up, you're all enjoying it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you are not picking it up for whatever reason, what game you're looking forward to. Um, I'm personally looking forward to Outriders, but uh, I'd love to know what you're looking forward to. Or come and hit me up on my Twitch channel. We can talk about games and stuff when I'm streaming on there. Uh, the link's in the description as always. Or you can hit me up in my Discord, which is pretty new. Not many people in there at the moment, but if you want to come and talk to me one on... Well, not one-on-one, -on -one, but you know, in a group setting, then come and hit me up there. Again, link in the description. Or you can hit me up on Twitter. Again, link in the description. Check out the description, basically, if you want more ways to contact me. And... I hope you're all staying safe, I hope you're having a great day, and I hope you're enjoying Monster Hunter Rise if you picked it up, and I will see you next time.